Okay, quick video tonight about the CPAP noise level on the VisiBot. Uh, before, let me show you what I installed on the printer. And yeah, again, <laughs> it's LEDs. And now it's also on the Exos fan grid. I promise I'm done with all those LEDs, but I like the way it looks now. <laughs> And if you want to see how I made it, there is a post on my Instagram, so you will see some photos and video about it. Okay, let's go back to the main topic, which is the CPAP. The idea was to cover the CPAP itself, because most of the noise seems to come from here when the lid is closed. And internally, we know it's caused by the air being sucked by the CPAP, so we have to cover the inlet as well. And that's why I made an external internal CPAP muffler. And you will see it's not the best, not the worst. It's about five decibel less noisy on different frequencies. It would be better if it was bigger, but you know, I don't have enough room on the back plate. So it is what it is. Here is the back part with the CPAP enclosed in. And as you can see, it's hollow and can be filled with plaster, cement, clay, or whatever you want. But the day I made it, I only got plaster to pour it in, so that's why I use plaster. I saw on Wikipedia that plaster was good in terms of noise insulation, but I'm sure there is way better than that to do the same job. So if you have any ideas, please let me know in the comment section below and I will be happy to try them. Around the CPAP, there is room to be filled with something else and get that extra level of noise insulation, but I'm not sure what to use yet. So again, if you have any suggestion, let me know. And here I put some silicone to get rid of some vibration I get when it's on the back plate. It works pretty well. The internal muffler is mounted on the plate, two screws here to hold the plate and the back part one screw here to hold it securely on the plate. I still have to remove this one because I can't access it because of the profile. It's filled with plaster and it has a baffle. But I'm not satisfied yet with the design. I still have to work on it because you can't use it if you have your stepper motor wires going to the left. So anyway, I'm going to show you some tests in video. And after that, we will be on the data I collected. For a better understanding of what's next, this is the external part. Here the muffler V1 with the baffle V1, now with the baffle V2, and the muffler V2, no baffle, just a path for the airflow, and it was the worst. Okay, here we are with all the data I collected. We have here three sheets. The first one is for the decibel, the second one for the frequencies, and the third one for the airflow. Um, I did 10 tests on the CPAP and the last one is the RSCS just to compare it to the CPAP. Um, here on the vertical line, we have the sound level and here on the horizontal one, the CPAP power. I will not compare all the data because the video will be too long, but if you want, you can hit pause to read more. First thing we see when I'm comparing the best result I got, not a huge difference between the blue line, which is the CPAP with no muffler, and the purple one with the muffler. Uh, it's only 5 decibels. I added the orange line after I recorded the first part, because I did a test with cotton pad around the CPAP. 
is not really better on the sound level. Now between the CPAP and the RSCS with the yellow line, so now you can see how loud the CPAP is, and it will be great to have the CPAP at this at 80 decibels. Below 80, it's a nonsense because the RSCS running at 100% will be louder than the CPAP. Now the purple line is for the external muffler and it's like it did nothing. <laughs> what about frequencies? And here the higher the worst, the lower the best. On the horizontal line still the CPAP power and it's clear that the RSCS stays pretty low on frequencies and the CPAP can easily reach higher frequencies like 335 kHz. Let's compare the CPAP with no muffler, which is again on the blue line, with the best muffler we got from the preview chart in orange and purple. Uh, here the highest peak is at 596 Hz at 70% for both line, orange and purple. And here I understand that we cut the highest frequencies between 60 and 80% with a peak at 70%. Let's compare the CPAP no muffler with CPAP external part. Here it's getting higher at 80% with a peak at 90% instead of 60% with a peak at 70%. Now about the plaster with the muffler V2. I didn't keep that one because it was the worst on the decibel chart. But anyway, here the purple line is filled with plaster and the blue one it's not. It's clear that Placer is doing something here. But here, nothing. <laughs> and I know why. In the muffler V1, I had a baffle that was too thin. So from 60 to 100%, it was resonating on high frequencies instead of canceling them. Then I changed the baffle with a thicker one and boom, huge difference. The last thing to cover is the airflow restriction. The muffler V1 with the baffle V2 was the best so far and turns out to be the worst here. We are losing between 0.4 and 0.7 milliseconds. Honestly, I'm okay with that because my CPAP is always running between 25 and 40%. So in my case, it would be fine. It's the end of the video and if you are still there, I <laughs> thank you. I would like to know in comment what you think about all of that and it will be great to try your ideas of material to use instead of plaster and get rid of 5 more decibels. Now I'll leave you with videos of part I printed for that project and I will see you next time, bye bye.